Hi, this is Simon Obstall and welcome to this quick tip for Apple Motion. Now, this is something that often catches out uh, beginners and they, they get very confused as to what's happened. But it's also something that's quite useful for advanced users to remember. So down here at the bottom of the inspector, there are three buttons that filter the various different effects and processes. Now, this hideous composition has got various effects on it. Now, I can hide the masks. I've got two circular masks here. If I click on this button here, I can hide those masks and they disappear from the stack. Equally, if I hit this next one, I've got a couple of behaviors, one a rate there and a link there. And if I click this, you'll see they disappear as well. And the third button, is filters. Now we've got loads of filters on here. And if I click this button, they disappear as well. So now we're not seeing either masks, behaviors or filters. Or alternatively, we can turn them back on again as we choose. So often what's happened is that you've accidentally hit one of these buttons and you think, where have all my filters gone? Apple Motion has broken. You know, why have I got a different version of Apple Motion? Just check on these buttons. It's very easy, even if you're an advanced user, to accidentally turn one of these off and get a bit confused. But there's one other thing I want to show you, and that's this really useful search field here. And it's a really, really good way of filtering out various elements. So I've got a levels filter on a number of these layers. So if I just type the word levels or even lev, you'll see that it filters out only those elements. So I'm not seeing any of the masks or the behaviors. I'm literally just seeing those filters on those layers. And indeed, there's one on the group there. So that group is being soloed rather than the contents of the group. You can even filter the word group and all you will see is the actual groups themselves. So do think in terms of this. So for example, I want to isolate that rate behavior. There I am. I've just got that rate behavior. This is really particularly useful if you want to make sort of batch changes to a particular filter across. You know, if I wanted to adjust all these levels, it would be so much easier just to filter those out and then pick them off out of this filtered list. So anyway, I hope that's been useful. Do remember to make sure that all these buttons are enabled. Otherwise, you might get a bit confused. Okay, thanks very much for watching. See you soon.